So I think we can all agree that the new in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is a very, very good card. But the category Giant 8 Power for free to play is to be questioned. Of course, being um, a category that has the word giant in it, it's probably not going to be a very accessible category for free to play because of the fact that the giant category has like three free to play cards. So um, I was surprised that we could make a full team of giant eight power. And um, yeah, this is pretty much the team. This is the only six cards that you can bring on this category that is free to play. Luckily with the new GT Vegeta, he does have that category filling in these spots. However, unfortunately his SSR version is not. So uh, we are going to be stuck here running this Internapper, which is not a bad card. <laughs> unfortunately, I don't have him 100% on this account. Uh, he does boost up our Int unit. So Gogeta here, Vegeta, Bardock. He's a decent support, but in terms of an individual card, he's not gonna do so well. Uh, so yeah, we have the new EZA, Bardock, Kid Goku. We have Ella Gohan as the leader because he provides 77% for all types and three key. Unfortunately, he's not Extreme Z Awakened, so he isn't boosted to the max. So that is going to hinder us a little bit. But if you do have him Extreme Z Awakened, this team's a little bit better, but not absurdly better. Anyway, we're going to jump into the Infinite History event, Super Warriors, and hopefully get past the tech phases. That's all I really care about. Let's try to get to Super Saiyan Vegeta. Although it is a pretty bad category, it is providing a full 170% stat boost to HP, attack, and defense from Gogeta. So it's not the worst in that situation. Uh, and then uh, what we're going to do for rotation-wise is we're going to have the Ajo Bardock and the Vegeta next to each other. And then we'll have the Gogeta and uh, Team Bardock together. Now, the reason why I want them together is because although they're not sharing links, just the support is going to be so good for the Gogeta that it's just going to help us carry through the event. And then GT Vegeta here is the strongest in defense in this rotation. So we're going to go like that. So yeah, that's my plan. We are losing, you know, like Team Bardock and Tain Raw potential linking. But I think just from the support alone, it's just going to help us throughout this event. Big damage is what we rely on from Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and take minimal amounts of hits. So this is going to be a super interesting showcase. Just from looking at this category and this team here, I'm 99% sure we are not going to beat this event. However, if we can see some type advantage situations, it'd be super dope. And hopefully show off this 2 dupe Gogeta. I did show off a 55% Gogeta. Didn't impress me all too much in the later end of the game because, you know, we already used these active skill. We already lost the attack and defense 40%. So now with two dupes, hopefully with some additional super attacks as well, it'd be pretty cool. Now, sadly for this Bardock, it is not looking pretty good for him, the EZA one. Uh, we are not versing two or more enemies in this event, nor are we versing any wicked bloodline units. So he isn't going to be crazy good. However, hopefully just from his EZA stats, the 170 leader. I mean, he did pretty good right there. Hopefully just from his, uh, was it 77% attack and defense at the start of the turn? Hopefully that is good enough. Uh, 344,000 HP is not too bad as well. Anything over 300,000 we can deal with. And we're still figuring out rotations. A godly rotation would be Nappa with um, t uh, Team Bardock. Just both supporting Gogeta. I didn't showcase like the attack and defense stat on the last video. We have 113,000 defense, 324,000 um, attack stat. Of course, when it comes to free-to-play, we value defense over here more than attack power. But, of course, when you are pay-to-play, and this is why people, I guess, flacked me when I showcased Turles off on a free-to-play team when I said he was decent. And that's just because I we value defense over attack power. The survivability is, like, the most important thing to me. And when you have only free-to-play units, you have all these bad units that don't defend as well. So you need somebody to fill in that defensive um, situation and of course we're running these low um, leader skills so I just wanted to defend myself when I said Turles was decent I know like the truth says he's like top LR but you know if I, I'm not out there running double cooler leads with 170% attack and defense Turles uh, team Turles LR with Turles linking up partnership you know that's just not the situation that I'm going to be currently in at the moment with the free to play cards that are out right now so with that like the best linking I get like 
120% leader. I'm losing 50%. And of course, to run Turles in a showcase video, I have to run Turles as the friend leader, which he isn't the greatest leader for uh, Terrifying Conquerors being 130%. So not only am I running a 120% leader, but I'm also running a 130% leader. So I'm losing uh, a lot of percentage just from running that team, that full LR team. But anyway, rant over. <laughs> We're going to finish off uh, this giant ape transformation here. Good thing about this Bardock, he can transform twice. So we have uh, the backup there. And of course, we are invincible. Going to carry us with the amount of units that can um, turn giant. We are most likely going to survive for a very long time. Although progress-wise, probably be very slow. Because uh, giant ape transformations aren't the strongest. All right, we get some type advantage, and the next turn is a godly rotation. Hopefully, um, I feel like we should do the active skill just to get out of the way. Also, it minuses the enemy's attack and defense, and this is actually going to be the last turn here, I believe, that we can lower attack and defense. Well, I know we can lower defense throughout the whole thing, but I think this is the last turn we can lower attack. Oh, never mind. We, we need to take four hits. That's quite sad. I forgot, you know, Gogeta is destroying everybody here. Sad to say that we are not linking up in any shape or form with this rotation. Hopefully the 30% support comes into play. He doesn't really have any, like, prominent attack links that we can use. We have GT with, uh, with a key link. <laughs> with the GT Vegeta, but other than that, no Super Saiyan, no Fierce Battle. And just like that, we still haven't... Have we even taken a hit with Gogeta? I don't even think so. His turn is up. This is his last turn where he will get attack effective against all types and the uh, attack and defense plus 40%. So he's going to lose some of that damage power. Yep, we are taking a lot of damage here. Oh, grade 8 time. <laughs> so this Goku can only turn grade 8 one time. Nothing spectacular. But because he's like 55%, uh, I think he's actually doing more damage than um, what he would normally be doing. He is SA1 though, so... Yep. And we're versing type disadvantage. At least we are living. Imagine this counted as turn counts. I feel like they should, like, add something else to grade 8 that would be beneficial for the transformation, not just being invincible. I feel like uh, maybe, like, grabbing orbs would heal us a little bit. That would be nice. I feel like just stalling everything, Doka mode, HP bar, all that. It'd be nice to heal up a little bit. Alright, at least we get to take one hit. We get one hit in. And I don't want to ruin the rotation, so we're just going to go like this. If we happen to die here, I think I'm pretty satisfied. But if we kill here, come on. An additional super attack, a critical hit. Oh, no! Alright, we live, we live, we live. And it's Vegeta's transformation time! He's as guaranteed if we hit underneath 50%. Yeah, this one's definitely the best transformation out of the ones we have right now. Uh, for free to play. If you want to see a full-fledged showcase of him, um, where I used better leaders, better linking partners for this guy, Make sure you check out the link in the description. I have the full 100% showcase on him. Uh, make sure you check that out. And of course, if you want to see more content like this, make sure you leave a like. And subscribe to the channel, of course. And go down in the description. Do me a favor and follow me on all my other social medias. Alright, luckily it's two turns because we are going to finish it off here. Alright. Now on to the Saiyans. Oh! <laughs> Another transformation! This is actually so cool, though. Oh, that's actually so cool. Transformation after transformation. We're just getting free damage in. Which is so cool, I will say. This is, like, first time experiencing, like, a giant category team. Does this happen often? Where it's just transformation after transformation? Because this is so cool. Imagine. Imagine. Vegeta transforms again. I... <laughs> That would be hilarious. Nah, but I think Bardock's the only one that can transform twice. 
So I think this will be ending it unless Nappa transforms 5% and a dream. I think he's the only one that can transform now. Nice, we dodge even though <laughs> we're invincible. ka -ching! Nappa! <laughs> Alright, we are going to Android 8 here. And we're not going to grab any colored orbs because we're going to token mode with Gogeta. Unfortunately, without the active skill, though. A little bit of damage. Alright, thank you for double digits. That's good. Napper, please don't get us killed. 67,000! Ooh, Zorka mode with the active skill, actually. Nice. Okay, they don't link at all. Alright, let's use the active skill. No better time than now. Because we got the Doka mode as well. Support-wise, we got that going. He's now jumped up with the active skill 215,000 defense and, and 410,000 attack. Would have been a little bit better if we got the um, active skill before. Nine turns, eight turns. Oh, we also have Android 8, so that's fluctuating it a little bit as well. Tanking that super attack for double digits. And with the Doka mode, the song lasts just as long. Perfect, all six. Here we go. Let's see how much damage you can do. Hopefully you got the high chance of type effective. And we can get the crit, maybe? No, but two mil damage. With an additional normal. I, I want to see the counter. I just realized we haven't counted once. I don't think I've used this guy and he's counted ever. Alright, so far we're living. I mean, we're, we've, we've gone pretty far. I was expecting we would die. We're definitely going to die at Trunks, I feel like. There's just too many int units. We would have to use all our items. Nice. Alright, Trunks time. And we still have Whis activated, so this rotation... Although, still going to get hit hard. Should be okay. Alright, alright. Double support, he gets 110,000 defense. We are losing... No, if we run double into Gogeta... <laughs> we're actually losing 100% in attack and defense, which is crazy amount. Ugh, 300,000. I still think we throw a Whis here. It's just too risky. Yeah, I think it was best. We took this super attack for 85,000. We might have survived. We might have. Without the Whis, but... It would have been a very close call. And I guess we can use no items for the next turn as well, and then just uh, use an Android 8 to heal us up. Problem after 8 turns is the struggle of super attacking, because, you know, we don't get that extra key bonus. Looking for the counter, please. The counter super attack. We are doing absolutely no damage. No damage whatsoever, and we take the super attack at the end instead. Yep, we have to use an Android 8. I told you, Trunks was going to be the toughest guy to deal with. She's not looking so well. This Bardock is nerfed so hard. At least this Vegeta is doing some work. And then Nappa is just Nappa. You really need a better Nappa. Oh, 100,000. Alright, it's now or never. I think we pretty much lose here if we don't counter the super attack. If he does super attack, that is. One mil, thank you. He activated his type advantage. Here it is. Will he counter for us? No, where is the counters, man? Ah, uh, dude, there's no counters. Do we have what it takes to live? If there's no supers, maybe? Oh, 
40,000. Hey, nice crit. Wait, if it's all normals. All right. I'm looking for the counter. This is not what I wanted. We have no we have no key. We just got to hope that um well, this is the last turn here. Gogeta, make us proud. I don't know what you could do here to save us, but a cool counter super attack would be nice. Nope. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up the Giant 8 Power category. Obviously needs a lot of work. Uh, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you check out all my social medias down below in the description. I'd really appreciate that. Just to let you guys know, there's only like 50% of people who watch these videos and subscribe. So if you're not subscribed, let's jump that ratio a little bit higher. That's so typical, YouTube. <laughs> anyway, see you guys in tomorrow's video. Till then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.